sinner. I said, I am born again. You cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself, said Swami Vivekananda. That means the whole world masters kept on telling that look into the knock and the door shall be opened. Ask who am I? The wake arrives, stop not till the goal is reached. Get up, stand up. All these are connecting with them. People thought all those, of course, slokas, songs. Indirect languages never worked out. It should be a direct language. So when we were in Tokyo, I was staying in the Tokyo guest house. I was always very, very conscious and watchful about every country where I go because I, I cannot throw money. I have gone there to understand. Seeing is believing, but you must open your eyes. So I was watching everything what is happening over there, why and how, how they became rich and we became poor. <coughs> so in the Tokyo guest house, every time they, it's, uh, it's a girls and boys or foreigners staying in the Tokyo guest house. Train it's cheaper. <laughs> because it is cheap, we go there and they have a dining hall, <coughs> dining room, and they get a refrigerator free, cooking gas is free. And in the, in the refrigerator, we can keep our own food and then put our name and keep it. It's quite good that we all sit together. We try to understand so many cultures, so many people from Europe and from Middle East, etc. Everybody has come for something or other to learn culture and buy on the site to make a little extra money. So every time, they, a lot of Japanese girls walk in. And when we, I always found out when we were sitting alone with all these Middle East people and European kids, etc. We always talk against their country. This is not correct, that is not correct, they are not taking care, etc. So when these Japanese girls come inside, because more boys are there, so they said the Japanese girls. One girl was very, very pretty, very, very stunning beauty. She used to mix up everybody, everybody. And every boy makes a place that he is going to have that girl on that particular day. Everything, everybody tries, nothing. And whoever goes near her, she will tell, uh, when he started touching her, he said, you are my friend, not my boyfriend. <laughs> but the thing of these girls coming there is, the government sends these girls to find out what we are doing. We are a spy. <laughs> but a spy in a beautiful style, <laughs> yes. But you are my friend, not my boyfriend. <laughs> that one. You cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. Swami Vivekananda said, you cannot go against you. They have created the, you, they have tamed you. The tame and the wild. We were wild, but in the wild, we knew such a beautiful discipline. The Stalin takes and everybody follows the Stalin. Such was the beauty and every area, we don't, we don't know how to keep it dirty because we're so conscious about every plant, every tree. I am a witness to the what is happening in my Devanali. Every farmer makes sure that even near to the tree, anything is dirty. He tries to clean it up to make sure that plant is kept beautiful. He knows anything and everything of how, when, how to loosen the mud, etc. You cannot believe in God. They have tamed you. The whole world has tamed Millions and millions, all the whole world has been tamed in the name of schooling and universities. And they are forced you not to believe in other things. They believe in nature, believe in God. So many women say, you cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. Means you have to make yourself very strong. How to make yourself very strong? You have to work with the nature. And now they created a lot of gymnasiums to make boys make a lot of muscle so that the boys will not go home. Disconnect him from his house. Disconnect him from his house. The students are not allowed to enter the house. They will enter the house with the books called homework. University children are not allowed to enter the house because they will enter the house with a laptop because they have to do a lot of homework, a lot of projects. They have destroyed you. You cannot believe in God. That means you cannot believe 
you cannot even feel, smell, taste, touch and see. And when you go to the gymnasium, you forget to take the spade and the pickaxe. When you climb the coconut tree and the agricultural tree, you can see you have a beautiful six pack. At the same time, you are in touch with nature. You grow your own materials right in the house. You clean your house. You wash your clothes with your own hand. You don't use washing machine. You grind your own chili powder and all other things. And you feel there is a lot of power when you grind your rice, boom, 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 and you roll it like this. Your body is just skeletal muscle and no fat at all. You cannot believe in God. You must. Then, once you know that the body became strong, when you start doing your work in your house, you will understand the first love. You don't have to understand. Love flows to your wife and your husband. Love flows to your children. Love flows to your family. And when the love flows to your family, you can never sit separately and take food. You can never take a bath separately. You never, you cannot go out separately. You have to go with them. You cannot tell that I have to go with my friends. Your friends are your gods right in your house. You don't want to relate to them. You can call them friends. And once you make yourself believe in yourself and, and the belief happens of its own, then you can know that the nature, you cannot go against the nature. You have to work with the nature. You have to work with your family. You have to work with your political leaders, not against it. When you don't go against nature, you understand rainwater harvesting, solar, wind energy. You start embracing every tree possible. You will wait for a second to talk. That day you understand the love. And that love is called truth. And the love is called belief. And the love is called nature. Or your own family. And in that love, you can see that yours in and that yang, positive energy is always creating a path to every question has got. You don't go against the question, you work with the question, and everything is an answer. In that answer, you see the deeper, the bulky, the light, and that light is called God. Some of you said, you cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. 